Good morning, family. So glad you could join us today for Daily Devos. Let's sing to the Lord today. I love this old song. It just simply says, I love him. Let's sing, I love him. I love him. Because he first loved me and purchased my salvation. everybody. Glad you joined us this morning for our morning devos. If you're reading along with us, we are in the book of 1 Peter uh, chapter 4. You know, in this little passage, um, it says this. It says, Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you're going through as if something strange were happening to you. Meaning this, that we all go through stuff in life, right? I know that you can all raise your hand if I said how many of you are facing some kind of opposition um, today, you, uh, most of you would probably raise your hand because life is just a, um, a series of, at times, obstacles and challenges that you just walk your way through. And so what Peter's saying here is don't, don't be surprised that you're going through stuff, right? Don't be surprised um, that you're going through things. In fact, he goes on to say, he says, be glad. Um, be glad if you're insulted because you bear the name of Jesus. You'll be blessed for the glorious spirit of God rests on you. But then I like this because he says, if you're going to suffer, be suffering for the right things, right? If you're going to be persecuted, be persecuted for your stand for Christ. Be persecuted because you're doing the right things, right? Um, in life, you're going to struggle. You're going to experience opposition. He says, but... If you're gonna experience opposition, 
let it be for the right things. Because then it says, if you suffer or you're experiencing opposition, however, it must not be for murder or stealing or causing trouble or prying into other people's business. For the time has come for judgment and it must begin with God's household. If judgment begins with us, what terrible fate awaits those who have never obeyed good news. So the the challenges that you're facing, you know, if it's because, you know, you're serving God and you're fighting to do things right and you're walking in the truth of the word of God and people don't like that and there's going to be opposition, right? Our fight isn't people, it's demonic uh, activity and when you're doing God's purpose Satan always wants to get us distracted he al- always wants to throw us off course so he'll put obstacles in our way false accusations uh, people wanting to point their finger at us um, they did it to Jesus right and Jesus was perfect and they were still you know persecuting him for healing on the Sabbath or breaking the religious system laws what Peter's saying here is you can experience trouble by doing good, but you can always also be experiencing trouble in your life because you've done some stupid things, <laughs> right? It's like you're experiencing chaos at, at work because you're stirring up strife at work, right? It's not all these women are against me. I'm at my workplace and, and I'm just being persecuted on my job or my employer, he's just harassing me. My employer, he's just being so mean to me and he's just harassing me but yet you're not taking into account that you're showing up late to work. You're not really putting forth the effort to give your 100% on the job or you're, um, you know, you're not honoring those in, in authority over you at work or, or respecting those. There's some persecution and problems in your life because you bring it on yourself. You're doing it on yourself. You know, there's strife in my marriage. You know, my marriage is messed up. My marriage is not, is not, um, uh, what it should be. There's strife there. Well, it could be because you're not honoring one another. It could be that you're not, uh, fighting to love each other and fighting to forgive each other. You're not fighting to put Jesus at the center of our marriage. I think when we're experiencing trouble or um, frustration or maybe obstacles in a life, our life, we have to first, like it says here, judgment first begins with us. When it talks about judgment begins in the house of God, it's not saying, I'm going to judge you because you say you're a believer. So I'm going to, you know, point my finger at you and make sure you're being judged. No, it's saying, Father, if there's anything in me, I judge myself. As believers in Christ Jesus, we should live every day examining ourselves, making sure that I'm not being persecuted because of uh, things that I've done stupidly, that I'm bringing on myself, doors that I'm opening myself, things I'm saying myself, uh, behaviors I have myself. I got to judge myself first. And what does that mean? I look within. And if I find those causes, I'm stirring up strife at work, I'm not showing up on time, uh, whatever, financially, I'm charging up my credit cards, that's why I'm in so much financial opposition. Whatever Holy Spirit shows me, I have to repent. What does that mean? I change my mind. So if it's financial things because I'm charging up my credit cards and spending money I do not have, and I'm experiencing financial opposition, sometimes that's not because I'm serving God, that's because I'm just spending my money foolishly. So I have to own it. Father, I repent for that. I repent for spending money, not according to your purpose and plan. I'm not doing it your way. I'm doing it my own. And I judge myself. That's what it means when judgment begins in the house of God. Those are believers in Christ Jesus. We judge ourselves. And if I judge myself and I repent myself, then I can make the proper necessary adjustments. Listen, in life, you're going to experience opposition anyway. Let's not have it be because we're doing stupid things. Okay, let's be quick to repent and get God's favor and grace flowing back in our life and watch God do some pretty amazing things. Father, we thank you today for who you are. Thank you for your goodness, for your faithfulness. God, help us to see. God, every struggle, every bit of opposition that comes at us, help us to be able to truly, honestly evaluate it. If it's because strictly I'm doing things right and I'm serving you, or if I need to make some adjustments in my own heart, in my own mind, in my life. God, we're open to that. Lead us, guide us, direct us. We honor you today and we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again real soon.